My name is Shirley. My name's Chuck, and this is our testimony. And we love each other. Very much. I'm Shirley Zygmunt, and I'm married to this wonderful man right here, Chuck Zygmunt. I was born in Missoula, Montana, 1938. My dad was in the Army. We were transferred to Alaska. When Pearl Harbor was bombed in 41, all the civilians had to come back to the States. So we went to Utah to live with my grandparents, then went to Montana and bought a home. I was born in Billings, Montana. Grew up in Missoula, Montana. We went to high school together, but didn't really get together. He went his way, I went mine. I had four little girls, and he had a boy and three little girls. He was a softball commissioner for the city of Missoula, and I played softball. And we used to get together after the games. We just hung out at a couple of bars and Played softball, she worked at a lumber mill and ran a chop saw and did all the heavy labor. And then we bowled together, did all that, and then one day God put us together. She got a divorce and I had been divorced for about five years. He told everybody I was gonna marry him. You were 30 and I was 31. When we got married, February 14th, 1969, Valentine's Day. I always say I married her so I would only have one thing to remember rather than two holidays. I was married before and I had a bad marriage. I was married to an alcoholic. I, you know, I was so young thought I knew everything and didn't know nothing. Same with him, he was pretty much an alcoholic. I was a drunk because I would refuse to go to meetings. <laughs> when I come, got with him, we, he stopped drinking and stopped smoking. Neither one of us knew the Lord. I knew of the Lord because my mama taught me about the Lord. She prayed for us all the time, but I was brought up a Lutheran church, and not even going to it real often like you should. I was an alcoholic, but I always say I was nothing but a functional drunk because I would drink from five o'clock in the evening till two o'clock in the morning every day. And then on weekends, I'd get serious and drink all day and all night. My life was really a mess. Like I say, I was a functional drunk. One day he came home and he says, uh, I'm gonna go back into the Navy. And I said, okay. The guy that got him in the Navy was from Knoxville, Tennessee. So they sent us to Knoxville, Tennessee in 1971. We went to Montana on a trip. When we were coming back, we come back through Wichita, Kansas. And I said, Boy, I hope I never have to live in Kansas. We get back home, back to Tennessee, and he's transferred to Wichita, Kansas. God has a sense of humor. Yeah, and I just cried. I just cried. I said, I don't want to move to Kansas. His commanding officer was a Christian, and he was inviting everybody at the Naval Reserve Center to a Bible study at his home. Every day, his commanding officer asked him, if you died today, where would you go? We were the only ones that went to the Bible study. And one day in January, we were studying Mark. We just had gone to a Bible study. We went home from the Bible study. We were laying in bed and I says, I think we need to accept Christ as our savior. And he says, I think so too. So that was in January of 1976. We accepted Christ. We struggled many times. He worked two jobs just to make ends meet. And I worked at a bowling alley and worked different jobs. We got real active with our with the church. Went from Wichita to Butte and then from Butte to New Orleans, which was a great experience. Went to a, a Bible church. Got baptized in the Bible church. Both of us, I wasn't gonna get baptized because I said I was baptized when I was 12 years old in the Lutheran church. I'm not gonna get baptized again. Well, Lord says, yes you are. <laughs> he got baptized, I got baptized. We moved here in 91. My sister come to see us. Sunday morning we got up and went to Victory Baptist. 
and have been there ever since, 30 years ago. We did everything for the church. He was a trustee at one time. Sunday school teacher. Now we just go and sit and listen to preach. <laughs> and Brandon and Greg and Jeremy, we, we just love our church. I've got such good friends that come and see me and take care of me and pray for me. And, and he still does stuff with, for the church, don't you? Our son was baptized here at Victory Baptist. My granddaughter was baptized at Victory Baptist. I agree with what Preet said at service the other day about we may be called a Baptist church, but we're really a Bible church. The Word of God is taught here. My Bible is all marked up because I said, oh, I didn't know that. We just have been so blessed. And Victory has just been, it's just, it's just such a great church. And I just, I'm so thankful for it, that God brought us here, put us right here in Maryville, Tennessee. I, I just think of the times. One day I said to my sister, I think God put me here and forgot where he put me. I was so, so scared of life. And then I just, would, I just would praise the Lord and thank him so much for giving me for saving me, it's just, and I really have to depend on him. Mama always told us about Jesus. I knew there was a Jesus. I knew there was a, I we never doubted there was Jesus, but I didn't know Jesus. And then one day I made him the Lord of my life and now he is the Lord of my life. And I depend on everything from him.